from the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your evening update. Your weekend weather update is made possible by Caltrans District 2. Hey folks, good evening. Hope you had a nice weekend so far. Wrapping up this weekend, taking a look at our lows for tonight. Along the coast, around the valley, we're going to be in the 30s and 40s. The cooling trend, the temporary cooling trend, is in store here starting tonight, lasting through tomorrow. Through the valley, we're going to be in the upper 50s, lower 60s. And again, that cooling trend, temporary. I do want to emphasize that. I'll discuss that more in just a second. Also want to remind you that we're still through the valley. We're talking Red Bluff, or well, Redding South, probably down to the northern portion of the Sacramento Metro. We got that red flag warning. This goes in effect until tomorrow evening, and it's no surprise, right? We've seen some fires across the area. We're still keeping a close eye on those fires down south, the June's fire, the Rocky fire, especially here. So it's no surprise, right? We got that really low relative humidity. We got those gusty winds out of the north and west, and we're holding that steady for the next couple of days here, but we're also cooling down just a little bit for the next couple of days, but then we're gonna be warming up. So by the end of the week, Towards next weekend, we're going to be in a big time warming trend here, so don't let your guard down. Just because you're going to see a few cooler temperatures tomorrow does not mean that's going to stick around. As for rain, we're also going to stay pretty dry, but check this out. As we head into the first week of, well, the first week of summer, really, last week of June, we're going to be pretty above average in terms of those temperatures. And what does that look like? Let's go through this and see what that looks like on the map. So, like I said, temporary cool down. You can see some 70s across the area, lower elevations back in the 90s, though. But notice Weaverville. This is a good cross-section. Let's take Weaverville, for example, here. Notice here through tomorrow. You got those lower 80s. All right. But check it out here through Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're talking a big 15 to 20 degree warm-up compared to what we're seeing tomorrow. So there's that warming trend relative to that cooling trend that we're seeing today. So you can kind of really see that I'm kind of uh, pictured well there, right, in Weaverville. And we even get on that warming trend here along the coast, too. I mean, check it out there with those lower to mid-60s taken back over as compared to upper 50s, but head a little further inland and you really see that trend taking back hold through tomorrow again, by the way, wind's going to be out of the north 15 to 20 miles an hour. That's why we're holding that red flag warning into tomorrow evening as well through the valley. Notice here, though, inland, you see those upper 70s? Those turn into 80s. Those 80s turn into 90s. That's that trend. And Really, you can see that in Modoc County. I'll show you that in just a second, too. But Siskiyou County as well, we got those 70s sticking around. And as you head further east past Wairika, you get those lower 70s and upper 60s creeping back in. But Mount Shasta City, you got a good 20 degrees, 25 degrees to warm up here by the time we're heading through Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Those 70s, they're going to blast through, go through the 80s, end up in the upper 90s here as we head through Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I was mentioning that at midday here just a few hours ago, that that's going to be the warmest time frame, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday here. But like I said, Modoc County really reveals that cooling trend that's temporary here pretty well. Those 60s turn into 70s, turn into 80s, turn into 90s. It seems like it's a steady staircase climb up here as we head over the next several days. And we pretty much stay dry, not seeing any huge signs of life in terms of that, as you saw just a second ago on the big picture. Hopping down to Plumas County in the Eastern Mountains, it's a very similar story, right? Notice those widespread 60s and 70s here for tomorrow. But Susanville, for example, Janesville and out to Doyle, very similar story. We're going to go through the 70s, 80s, ending up in the mid-90s when all is said and done with it. And through the valley, it's sort of similar. We're going to be a few degrees cooler than we were today here for tomorrow. But we'll be back in the upper 90s and lower triple digits here when all is said and done with it. And by the way, check those gusts out. That steady winds 15, 20 miles an hour, gusts of 25 or 30, so we're going to have to watch that very carefully. I've been over the fire weather danger, elevated for tomorrow, that much is for sure. We're holding that red flag warning. Keep this in mind here for Monday. And honestly, keep this in mind for the next several days just because you don't see a red flag warning doesn't mean you shouldn't be conscientious of things like that. Now for the temperatures, Valley North, Lakehead all the way down to Red Bluff. We're going to be steady in the mid-80s, 90s coming back in, and then boom, triple digits by the end of of the week. So yeah, it is going to be toasty out there. That much is for sure as we approach the first week of summer. Thanks for joining me this weekend, folks. I'll be back with you next weekend. And of course, Mike will have you covered for the next five days. That's what we see here in the North State.